Hi, my friends. I'm Hadi. We know for RF, microwave, millimeter wave, and even terahertz passive and active component, a vector network analyzer can help to characterize the S parameters and other features. But what shall we do if we need to test those optical transmitters, receivers, and other optical devices' performance in optical communication systems? Yes, a light wave component analyzer can do this. Or you can just call it optical vector network analyzer if you want. Benefit from seeing a high performance vector network analyzer, the light wave component analyzer, short for LCA, features EO, OE, OO, and EE working mode. It also has a built-in optical power meter. Today, I will show you how to test this optical component. After warm up, we calibrate the VNA using a mechanical or electrical calibration case at both cables end. Now, let's test the electro optical modulators an EO device. We connect the system and the modulators as shown on screen. In the EO measurement mode, after setting the wavelength output power, we press start button. The system will first auto calibrate the channel and then display the S21 and S11 on the screen. We can see that the device's 6 dB bandwidth is about 35 gigahertz. Let's test an OO device, an optical attenuator. We connect the system cables as shown on screen. In OO measurement mode, after pressing the start button, the system will prompt to connect the two optical ports using a patch cord and calibrate the optical channels. Then, we insert the DOT between the two optical ports. We can see from the result, from 10 MHz to 67 GHz modulation frequency, the insertion loss is about 10.5 dB. Now, let's test an optical receiver a typical OE device. We connect the system cables and the optical receiver as shown on screen. In OE measurement mode, we follow the system's instruction to make the necessary calibration. And then we can read from the screen that this receiver's 3 dB bandwidth is about 50 gigahertz. That's all. Thanks for watching.